I was at a party, I was chatting to a guy, he said, what does your girlfriend do? I said, anything but anal. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> I'm in a long-term relationship, but I'm not married. Is anyone else in that situation? <clears throat> Quite a few, but you're timid about saying, because, uh, like me, you'll know, if you're in a long-term relationship but not married, everyone, friends, family, colleagues, acquaintances, everyone feels they can stir it up a bit. <laughs> as soon as anyone hears, they go, have you thought about... <laughs> You two, have you thought about <laughs> trying to start an argument between us? I think it's very rude. So whenever anyone says to me, have you thought about, have you thought about, have you thought about, I always go, what, putting a third finger in? <laughs> I could give it a go. I'm not sure it's what the relationship is missing. Maybe try the shocker. <laughs> two in the pink, one in the sting, that's how that works. Sorry, too much? <laughs> Two in the goo, one in the poo. There. <laughs> Nicer for everyone. <laughs> I don't know what conversation that prompted there. <laughs> I imagine that was you, madam, turning to him, thinking, I'm glad it's not just you. <laughs> I had a woman come up to me after a show in Tunbridge Wells. She said, I found that shocker thing very uncomfortable. <laughs> now, I knew what she meant. But I couldn't help myself, I said, lubricant. <laughs> I tried some Viagra recently. Has anyone else tried it? Yes. You have? Well, I admire your honesty there, sir. I tried it because you can now get over-the-counter Viagra. I thought, that sounds powerful. <laughs> over-the-counter, you say? <laughs> like a fucking kosh. <laughs> Did you read the instructions when you tried it, sir? You didn't? I did. Can I take these kind of things seriously? Because it's a medication. Even though it's a fun medication, it's a medication nonetheless. I was reading on the instructions for Viagra, it says, keep away from children. <laughs> I thought, what kind of a man do they think I am? <laughs> that can't maintain an erection with a child. <laughs> By the fact, a child has applauded that very loudly. See that there's a child in a green t-shirt? You are a child, I'm telling you, going, yes! <laughs> Finally, someone that can get hard with me. <laughs> you fucking maniac. How old are you, sir? Do you mind me asking? I'm 14. You're 14? Right, I can't talk to you any longer. It would be grooming. <laughs> and are you here with your mum? Oh! <laughs> I'll be checking in with you in a bit. Well, that brings me very neatly onto the next bit of material. Who here's got kids? Yeah. Yeah. Like, kind of, was that? <laughs> what, sorry? Oh, all right, Jimmy. Just, what? Rats. What? <laughs> what was that? You chipped in with something. <laughs> go on, Jimmy. You said, go on, Jimmy. Yes. All right, uh, ironically, slowing things down. <laughs> You often do that, just stop people in the street and go, on with you, on with your day. <laughs> I was just, I just stopped you just tell you to continue. <laughs> now, I don't have kids, but I've got lots of friends that have got kids. They're five and six years of age. I'll go around to the house, I get introduced. They say, this is, this is Jimmy, he's a comedian. It's a bit like a clown. <laughs> I go, well, it fucking isn't. <laughs> and they'll say, shh, don't swear in front of the kids. And then they'll say, would you like to hear a joke? And the little kid will go, yes. <laughs> and I'm expected to perform. So I say, when I was a kid, I was scared of the dentist. <laughs> you would not believe the upset. <laughs> what for paedophile? <laughs> Come here, I'll show you. Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr. And that was, that was an old clip of me. That happened in the past uh, when I was funny. I'm still funny now. Come and see me live on tour. Join in. IRL. Yeah, kids. <laughs>